Hello, my loves. It's Ro. Welcome back. We have a cranky little Clausen with us. <laughs> Today, I want to talk to you guys about donor milk, how I got it, why I'm using it, what's the benefit of it, all of the questions that you guys had as far as my low milk supply, why I decided to go with donor milk over formula. So if you're interested in all of that, just keep watching. <music> Before we get started really quickly, this video is sponsored by Mom Cozy. They sent over this nursing bra. It's a pumping bra actually that I am obsessed with. And they also sent me this other one and I'll show you in one second. But what I absolutely love about this bra is that they have that bottom strap that kind of resembles like a jockey or a Calvin Klein undergarment. It looks really cute, levels up your outfit, but it's also really comfortable and cozy and it feels really good. It's not tight, holds everything up. I love this bra. Nursing bras can be really ugly and this just looks like a fun, sporty sports bra. Although it has a normal back, it has the nursing clips, but they're not too in your face. Like, oh, that's a nursing pumping bra. I have a nursing pad in there, so you're not gonna see anything, but this opens so you could stick a flange in there and it becomes a hands-free pumping bra, which is incredible because I have tons of nursing bras, but I didn't realize when I was pregnant, I didn't do enough research that you actually need a specific pumping bra to make your life easier and to pump without your hands. They sent over this one that has the jockey Calvin Klein looking bottom, a regular back closure. This one is so cool. It's all black, opens up like a regular nursing bra, but then right here you see it's also a hands-free pumping bra. They have that extra layer under there. So cool. Same with this one. You could see that it just opens right up. Regular nursing bra easy to clip back on. I love, love it. Both of these bras came with the bra itself. I am probably about a 36 big D, small double D at this point. They sent me a medium, which fits perfectly. So definitely check the size charts. I thought I'd be a large with that size, but it's actually a medium. So there's a size chart for you. You can use my link and my discount code below to get a significant amount of money off. Also, it comes with two reusable nursing pads. I wish I needed them. I don't because I don't make enough milk to leak. That's amazing if you have a bit of an oversupply. They both come with this bra extender if you need it. Thank you again to Mom Cozy. Favorite nursing bras, but also only pumping bras that I have used, I like, and I swear by. So as you guys know, I have had... <laughs> Look at him going nuts. <laughs> I have had so many issues with my supply. Starting from the very first day he was born, I had latch issues. He had a tongue tie, he had a lip tie that I didn't know about or get fixed until four weeks after seeing a lactation consultant. But even prior to that, I had a pediatrician who told me that my milk wasn't gonna come in, I was too old. If it did come in, it would be sour because old milk is sour. It was one thing after another. You can go back and watch those videos. I'm gonna do a whole entire video dedicated to my supply issues and how I am slowly increasing and building my supply, all of the tips and tricks and everything, the advice that I was given as I have it grow. There are two more things that were just suggested to me this past weekend. Amazing that I'm gonna go out and get actually after I create this video. So wait for that, know it's coming. But all you need to know for this one is that my supply is very low. I probably could have been one of those people with a full freezer stash if that guy didn't stress me out and I didn't get bad and conflicting advice. However, I did. It is what it is. I don't make enough milk for him. I needed to supplement with all bottles in the beginning. It was between what I could pump out, which is like a half an ounce back then when I was exclusively pumping to like three ounces between both boobs. That's not a lot. And then it would lessen throughout the day. I did power pumping, all this stuff, and then formula. The day that I had to give him formula for the first time, I sobbed. I just had my heart set on breastfeeding. I was breastfed. I have the most incredible immune system. At the time, I didn't know that Adam, who also has a stellar immune system, was formula fed. So those myths in my life have been busted, but I also just wanted to give my baby breast milk. That was my preference. No hate or shame. Either way, just my preference. You guys know I'm a little crunchy. I'm a crunchy Jersey girl. So however that works, I have no idea. Adam had to go away on a business trip. This is going back probably about three or four weeks. Our very, very good friends over for dinner. While dinner was finishing cooking, how do you say that? While dinner was finishing, we were just kind of chit-chatting and I was explaining about my milk issues and how I was trying to bring my supply up and how I was still supplementing with formula. And she said, 
would you ever consider using donor milk or do you think that's disgusting? And I was like, oh my gosh, no, absolutely not. I don't think it's gross at all, but I probably can't afford it. In my head, I just assumed that people charge a good amount of money for donor milk, for breast milk, to sell breast milk. Because if I had the finances to do it, I would so spend as much money as I possibly could to get milk donated to me. And she was like, no, girl, my friend got it and she does not have it like that. Let me like do some digging for you and I'll figure out where you can get it. I thought maybe you would think that it was kind of gross to get milk. You know, some people think it's, it's just not their thing. They don't want to get milk from other people. They think that that's weird. In my opinion, and everybody's different, I respect everybody's opinions, but in my opinion, isn't cow's milk donor milk? Isn't sheep's milk donor milk? Isn't any milk donor milk because you're donating it from that animal? That's my opinion. So in my opinion, I'd rather get milk donated from another human. I also see both sides of it. Like you don't know what that human's ingesting. You don't know if they're smoking or drinking or this or that. We'll get to that. So my friend reached out to her friend who reached out to me, sweetest women under the sun. And she got me in touch on a Facebook page for a group that offers donor milk. And I said, he's pooping. Do your thing, bud. Do your thing. Of course, this is minutes after I changed him out of his pajamas, but that's okay. She got me onto a Facebook page where I could request milk. So on this page, you could either put in a request or put in offers. Like if you're the person that makes a lot of milk and you have a freezer supply and you wanna help somebody, then you just write, hi, I have milk in Las Vegas, this part of Las Vegas, if you're interested. You could also request like, I need milk, my child has a dairy allergy, or I need vegan milk because that's your preference. So I posted on this Facebook page, I shared my story, I shared about the doctor, I explained everything, the tongue tie, the lip tie, the advice to not pump for six weeks, even though I had a baby that wasn't removing the milk from my breast. I didn't know, first time mom. So it was super sweet. People, were, first of all, were like, what is this doctor's name? We need to get him disbarred. Is it barred? I know that's legal, but you know what I mean. People were so sweet and they were like, hey, I have milk here. I have milk in Summerlin. I have milk in Henderson. One girl wrote back. She was the first one. So I went with her and she was like, I have milk. She said, just so you know, I was vaccinated a couple of weeks ago. Some people don't want the milk because I got the vaccine, but it does give your child antibodies if you take it. Why not give the baby antibodies? From the time I posted my request for milk to me picking up a grocery bag full of frozen milk for my baby was three hours. She was like, I have it. You're more than welcome to it. It's all within the six months. Most of it was like three or four weeks. She said, and my husband would be really excited because he gets his freezer back, which I thought was sweet. She was trying to get her freezer stashed down. I waited for Adam to come home. He drove me there. Not that there was anything wrong with going yourself, but you know, people online, just to be cautious. Honestly, somebody that's donating milk out of the kindness of their heart, I do not think is gonna do anything harmful to their milk or you or the baby. It's a very kind act. But also you never know so you might as well be safe we went there this woman was an absolute doll she stood with me on her porch i was blinking through tears you know how it is i was touched that this stranger was so kind to me did this for me so quickly donated milk to make sure my baby was getting healthy breast milk that i personally wanted him to have postpartum hormones i'm like <laughs> You know, talking to her, she's trying to give me tips because she knows I'm still trying to increase my supply. She's like, listen, I will add an extra pumping session every single day to make sure that I have a stash for you. You can come once a week to pick it up. She said with my oldest, I had supply issues. So I know how it is. She said with my second son, I have had an oversupply. So I wanted to help somebody. She's like, and I just had this woman. She would come every Friday at two o'clock and it worked really, really well. She said, now with this baby, this was number three. She was like, I wanted to help somebody else. So I am more than willing to do whatever I can to help you. I pick up the milk on Fridays. One Friday, it didn't work out for us because she had something going on in the evening. So I just went on Sunday. I'm like, I will work around your schedule. She does not ask me for money or anything. I offered to bring her the bags that when you pump that you put the milk in, it's the least I could do. The first time I went, I said I would bring bags and I forgot and I felt like a jerk. The second time I went, I brought her a hundred of 
the, how do you say this brand? Lanisho? Lanisho? I don't know how to say it. I'll put it on the screen, but you guys are laughing probably that are moms. And then I had 50, what is the mom's brand? The Walmart, Parents' Choice brand from Walmart. So I gave her all of those. And then every time I go, I'll bring her between 25 and 100 bags, whatever is available. And so that's my thing. Some people do ask for bags. Some people are like, if you can bring them, you can bring them. If not, no big deal. Just come get the milk. Some people will drop it to you. Most people will have you come get it, meet somewhere, doesn't matter. So the name of the Facebook group I went on is called Human Milk for Human Babies. They have one in every state. So if you're looking for donor milk, if you don't make enough milk, if you don't want to use formula for whatever reason, or if you have milk, an oversupply that you want to donate to people who need it, then Human Milk for Human Babies. So I go on Human Milk for Human Babies Nevada on Facebook or Nevada. The locals tell me I say Nevada wrong. I say it like an East East Coast person. I almost said an Easterner. What is an Easterner? What is wrong with me? <laughs> human Milk for Human Babies on Facebook. Also out here, there was an organization my girlfriends sent me a gift card to for a prenatal massage. And it's just like a very, I don't want to say new age. It's not the word, but like alternative, holistic place for mamas to be so they have prenatal massage they have midwives they have nursing classes that's where i saw the lactation consultant doulas like those kind of things i don't know the word i'm looking for new age is coming to mind but that is the wrong term i'm only thinking that because when you go in they have essential oils and they had some crystals and they had some baby slings that were kind of like hippie and like i said i'm kind of like a tree hugging granola jersey girl I don't know. I wear hoops and I drink hemp. I drink hemp. What does that mean? I use hemp seeds and I want donor breast milk, but that's just what the place is. But it's more like holistic, natural, natural place. So that's called Well-Rounded Mama. I believe that's just local. They have a group on Facebook as well. And that's where I requested milk too. I can't remember which group responded first, but either one, if you have a well-rounded mama in your area or something like it or human milk for human babies, the people on there are pure angels. And if I ever could get my supply up, I mean, I think I'm at the point where it's too late for me to get an oversupply. I'm just trying to make as much as he needs, which I haven't even yet. Or if I have another child and I have an oversupply, 100% without a shadow of a doubt, I would donate my milk because I know what it's like to not make enough and to feel desperate for it. So there's that. Little man's actually pooping. We're waiting for that to be done so I can change him. Heading out to the store to get a couple of more lactation stuff. I actually have to get some milk bags for breast milk and some groceries. Do me a favor and hit like if you like this video. It just helps me out so much. Go back on the channel and watch other videos that you'd like to see with me. If you're interested in this nursing bra, then just look for all the information in the description box below. I love you guys so very much and I will see you in the next one. Mwah. Hi, hi, would you like to say hi to the camera? Oh, you look so cute. We've got a lot of drool going on lately. So we got this cute little bib matching with mama commercial break.